Warriors fans, welcome back to the Rhythm of Smoke Racing channel. I am your host, Rhythm of Smoke, aka Mr. 81. So, as you may notice, I didn't post a video last week because I was on vacation. <laughs> I posted a, a, uh, a quick little post, and if you didn't get that post, maybe you're, you're not subscribed, or maybe you are subscribed and you haven't hit the bell to get the notifications. So, make sure you hit that bell to get the notifications. Uh, and let you know when I when I upload. Um, typically, it's between Thursday and Friday that I get to upload. You know, with my busy schedule, uh, that's what I do, man. It's, it's Thursday and Friday. It's hopefully every week. You know, we're trying to bring you content, uh, bring you something uh, that we're doing, bring you experiences that I've experienced. Uh, today's topic: safety, so safety regulations, safety uh, standards. So you can't just go to any all off the wall shop and pick up a helmet you know buying a little motorcycle helmet off the sh off the rack it, it doesn't do do you much any good so save your money make sure you check in the rules and regulations of whatever sanctioning body you're participating in you also see sanctioning bodies uh, put regulations on on the gear that you wear you know whether it's a, a fire retardant or if it's just you know if, if it's not needed you know you for the most part, autocross, for, some, for example, you won't need a race suit for it. You'll need a helmet, but you won't need a race suit. So in this particular case, this is my race equipped helmet. I've had it for uh, a few, quite a few years now. So it might have even expired itself. It's, it's rated SA 2015. If you look inside the helmets, they have like little tags in there and they'll tell you if it has a rating on it. So this, rate, this helmet is DOT approved and rated SA 2015. So if this helmet is expired, well, I gotta go give me another. I haven't checked the check the latest uh, check the latest regulations yet. So before I get back out there, I'm gonna do that before I enter my next event and pick up a new helmet if I need to. Um, and if you are just a participant in motorsports and you just want to go check out the action, but you're not really you know trying to get into the cost of driving and things of that nature, well, sometimes these events have loaner helmets. Um, some of them charge. They used to be free. So that's kind of the new thing now is to charge to, to ride along. But, you know, it used to be years ago that you could ride for free. But here we are. It's 2024. And uh, it's, this is the nature of the game. Uh, so, yeah, uh, you go out there. If you just want to, uh, you know, come to an event and you want to spectate, um, you can pay for a small fee to ride along with the, uh, with the drivers. And they, and they often have loaner helmets if you don't have a helmet of your own. Uh, and you can just ride along and uh, that's one way that I got hooked into motorsports is just I took a ride with the P2 in Time Attack TC and I was hooked after that. If you check out my old videos, you'll see that I started out street racing like that was what I was doing on a weekend basis like every weekend we go race and then just all the time that's what we did every weekend. The first time I boosted this car, I, I came back from Kentucky uh, on a boost. The first time I had it in t installed and, t and tuned up. As soon as I got back to my hometown, I was in a race already. So, so but yeah, that was that was that was back in those days. And I, you know, I, like I said, I took a ride in the P10 and Time Attack TC, and I was hooked after that. And you know, I kept it on the track. Uh, yeah, that's my time for the day, guys. I appreciate you stopping by for this tech talk. Make sure you stay safe, like I said. Get out there, have fun, and do the best that you can. Until next time, guys. Keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.